All right, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through Google Ads Impression Share. I'm going to explain what it is, how to add them to Google, the benefits of having a high impression share, what a good impression share should be, how to increase the impression share, and some other important things I think you should know. Now, first off, what is impression share? An impression share essentially is all the theoretical searches you could pop up for versus the searches you actually do pop up for in terms of your actual ad. So if your ad is able to pop up 20 times a month, and it only pops up 10 times a month, that means you have a 50% impression share, meaning Google chose to show your ad 50% of the time, 10 out of 20. Now, in Google Ads, there's generally two types of impression share. The first is top impression share, and the second is absolute impression share. And top impression share is when you're above the organic results. So these individuals here, these are all above organic results. Therefore, they would see an increase in their top impression share since they place here. The second is the actual absolute impression share. So when your ad is shown first above everything, so Air Max here uh, is the absolute impression share. So that they're going to increase their percentage because they showed here. Um, both of these things are important to note. So again, top impression share is when you show above organic results in your top three or four placements, absolute impression share is when you show your ad, when your ad is shown above literally everything you rank number one. Now, how do we add impression share? How do we figure out what our impression share is? We go here into Google campaign, we hit all campaigns, we hit uh, campaigns again, and then we come down here to columns. Now we wanna hit modify columns, we wanna hit performance, we wanna hit impression share top and absolute impression share over here. One important thing I think you should add is competitive metrics. Um, we come down here to search loss top IS budget, which essentially means the amount of search impression share we have lost due to a low budget. So this is a very, very good indicator if you're not spending enough money and that you could get more impression share just by increasing your budget a little bit. So it's very, very good to add. I would apply that. Uh, and then we can scroll over to our right side here and uh, see that we've added them to the column. You can impl uh, you can add impression share and absolute impression share to essentially everything in your account, ad groups, keywords, campaign level. It's very good to know what you're popping up for uh, in terms of like what ad groups are doing better than other ad groups and it allows you to kind of optimize and uh, see what's going on. Search uh, lost impression share here can only be added to your campaign level, so that's important to note. Now the benefits of having a high impression share. Um, impression share doesn't mean you have a successful, a successful account. Impression share means Google likes your ad generally. Uh, Google can like your ads and you can still be very unprofitable and have a terrible account. It just really means Google likes your account and they're willing to show your ad. So chances are with a high impression share, you have a high you know, ad rank and you have a decent budget. Uh, if you have both of those and your message match aligns between your landing page, your keyword and your ad, Google is going to generally give you a pretty decent impression share and you're going to be doing all right. Uh, another thing it indicates is you're above the competition. So if you know you have a very high absolute impression share, chances are it means you're beating out the competition and Google likes your ad and your account much better than the competition because they're willing to show it more than your competition. Another thing is it could also indicate you're getting the best return you can. Uh, if you have an 80 to 95% impression share, generally that's the sweet spot and you're not overpaying and you're not underpaying. You're getting the most you can for the least amount you want to spend. Uh, and generally 80 to 95% impression share is a very good place to be. Now, like I said, what is a good impression share? Depending on the market, how competitive it is, and this is in terms of top impression share, this is not absolute. Uh, you want to be anywhere between 80 and 95%. Uh, it really is up to the market to decide what it's going to give you. Just because if it's super competitive, say digital marketing, you're not going to get a 90% impression share. It's just, you're going to have to spend crazy amounts of money and Google's going to have to love your ad. It's just not going to happen. But let's say, you know, pool installation in a very small area, you could easily hit 95% impression share uh, relatively easily just because, you know, the area is not big. Maybe you don't have many competitors. Uh, it really depends on your market and it's unique to your own business and services. So you keep that in mind. But 80 to 95%, uh, even 80 to 90% is good when it comes to an impression share. But you can still have a successful campaign having a 50 or 60% impression share. Keep that in mind. 
The next thing is how do we increase impression share? So say we have a 40% impression share, uh, our ads really aren't showing, we're not seeing much in terms of uh, new leads coming in. There are three main things you can do. One is increase your ad budget, which in turn increases your bid, uh, meaning you're going to bid more in the Google Ads auction house, meaning Google is more likely to take your bid and place you among you know, the top three or four ads or ranking number one. The next thing is Google Ads ad rank and trying to increase that. I have an entire video on how to increase it, but essentially it is having the proper keyword having the proper ad copy and the proper landing page, making sure all of these three things have a good message match, meaning they align, they all make sense, and they make the customer journey as easily, easy as possible. And you always wanna be A-B testing all of those things, making sure you're finding the right keywords, finding the winners, getting rid of the losers, A-B testing the ad copy, and A-B testing your landing page. As you continuously optimize this, chances are your ad rank is gonna go up and your impression share will also go up. Now, another thing you can do is reduce what you're targeting. So this could be, you know, reduce the amount of keywords, reduce the area, the actual physical area you're targeting, the amount of services you're targeting, and reduce them. This essentially increases your ad budget, or I should say uh, bid, uh, maximum bid, because you have more budget to allocate to a smaller amount of eligible searches, meaning you're going to increase your bid limit. Uh, and Google is, again, going to rank, probably rank you higher because you have a higher bid. Um, Three things I think you should know is the goal of impression share is not 100%. There is diminishing returns in Google Ads. And once you hit 95% generally, especially if it's a competitive uh, market, that last 5% is going to cost you because Google doesn't want to give all of its impression share to one user. And it's going to really, really make it expensive for leads. So say you have, you know, 10 leads coming in every month and it costs you, you know, $10 or $20 a lead. But to go to the next, you know, get another two leads a month and get like 99% impression share, it's going to cost you $30 a lead. So it's really important to keep that in mind. There's diminishing returns after a certain point. This could be really in multiple areas in impression share. So it might not always be 95%, but generally we see 95%. And over that is generally not a great area to be in. Generally, you have diminishing returns there. Keep that in mind. Another thing I should note is. Every marketing business is different and impression share will vary. You really need to understand your profit. If your account is successful or not, it's all dependent on profit. It's not dependent on profit share. You could have an extremely low impression share, 20%, and still have a fantastic campaign. Every campaign, every market, every service is different. Keep that in mind. Uh, so your impression share will vary. The last thing here is profit is the end goal. Impression share is just a metric. Although it's a very important metric and you want to have a decent impression share, it's not the end goal, it's a, it's a metric of success. And sometimes that metric isn't always great. Sometimes it's gonna be low, but your, but your goal is not impression share. Your goal is profit and you do everything you can to get to the profit, which is the end goal. And sometimes that means trying to increase impression share and sometimes that means just leaving it. Um, so that's very important to note. Remember, profit is the end goal and you should be looking at your cost per lead and what makes you profitable in the end. Now. This has been a very, very good overview of impression share. It goes over essentially everything you can do to optimize impression share, what it is. Uh, if you have any comments or concerns, leave them down in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a fantastic day and take care.